Hello again, coffee chat friend. Here I am. I was just driving along this road and I saw this little creek. I figured I'd walk down towards it and have a look. I'm in the heart of bear and cougar country, so if I disappear off the screen, you'll probably know why. <laughs> just joking, it's pretty safe, but they're known quite around quite a bit around here. Today I talked about, or yesterday rather, I talked about friendship. Uh, before I get started here, this is going to go on a little bit of a cant. Oh, okay, that's better. Talked about friendship yesterday, and I was thinking about last night how that relates to the concept of brotherliness and sisterliness, if you will. A lot of times on the coffee chat site, well, on the coffee chat site, I, I use the term actually brothers and sisters of humanity or inhumanity. And I just started thinking what's the difference between this and and friendship, you know, uh, kinship, if you will, and friendship. Well, I started to look up, okay, we talked about the friendship thing yesterday, so go back and you can go back and uh, see what I was referring to there, which is that friendship is more of like a, like a true deep friendship. It's kind of like a love relationship, a trust relationship, right? Now, brother or sister, brother comes from, is related to frater in some languages, which is where we get fraternity from, right? And sister, from soror, the Latin soror, where we get the word sorority. And both of these are related to kin, or kinship, or kin, K-I-N. And, and the funny thing of it is, is that if you look up kin in its origin, it's related to a word like race, like a, a larger family, like the human race, right? A kin. So, basically it it, it's an indication of connection, like genealogical connection, if you will. And to that extent, I, obviously we're all brothers and sisters. We're all connected somehow genealogically, but we're not necessarily as close as we are to others. But this is different than friendship because friendship is, in, in the sense that I was talking about in a trust relationship, is, is normally in the case of two adults who get along at a very deep level, a very understanding level. Whereas we can have what we would call sisters and brothers who we don't like to get along or we don't get along with. We, have, we don't have a friendship with them, but we know that we're kin. So, and, and a lot of it's not because anything's done, nobody, anything, anybody's done anything nefarious. It's just that, you know, we have different interests. It could just be as simple as that. So I would say that Coming back to this then, to say that we're kin, or brothers and sisters, we're acknowledging the connection. We're acknowledging our humanity, our connection as members of the human race, if you will. And therefore there is a connection in that respect. But we're not saying that necessarily we're friends and that we have any a deep uh, you know, mutual interest. Although we do, we know that we have interests, let's say, to live and so on, but in terms of our interests, what, we, what we're curious about, these sorts of things, what we want to learn about. Uh, so, kin, in other words, we're, we're related, but we're not necessarily in a confident relationship. That'd be something where we confide in because there's not the trust there or there's not the interest there. Uh, so, but I say the importance of it, though, is that when we see that there is a connection, not only that there's a genealogical connection, but that there's no physical disconnection, like there's no void between us, we can get to understand that what happens to one actually matters to what happens to, like it affects us. And the closer that relationship is, of course, and the closer the proximity even physically or geographically, the greater it affects us. The more something happens in our neighborhood, it affects us more than if it happens on the other side of the planet, in other words, usually, unless that one is, we've been recently in close connection with. <clears throat> and still, I would say, there's no inherent obligation. Just because we feel a connection doesn't mean we're born with an obligation towards others. We feel obligated towards people, and there is, there is a, there is an obligation in terms of parent to child because the parent made a decision to have a child so then there's an obligation it's like it's like a self-imposed contract if you will but there's no obligation to society there's no obligation to to our brothers and sisters it's just 
it's like a mutual be mutually beneficial arrangement that if we're kind to people and we're we're good to people that comes back to affect us because what affects them affects us what affects others affects us so it's not an obligation it's just it just makes sense it's like common sense in a way we all know that when we treat people like shit eventually it's going to come back to bite us and the same works in the other way around right what else did i say here so i think what's important in this is is coming back to what we are getting to know ourselves the more we know ourselves the better quality of life quality of life experience we can potentially have right so knowing that we are man as in the human race humanity men and women knowing that we are that individually then what we really are to one another is kinfolk or brothers and sisters L literally according to the origin of the word we are we're of the same kin of the same race and 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 also there's no disconnection between us so it's important to remember that i think because what we're connected to we're you know our body the upper body is connected to the toes so what happens to the toes is going to affect the upper body it's the same with our surroundings if we treat people like if we treat people badly or we treat people well it's going to affect them probably which is going to affect us which is going to affect the others around us it's all mutually beneficial so that's important but it's not as though we have an obligation to divulge our what's going on in our lives with others uh, because we're supposed to be friends or anything like that we that is, that is the free will component that we have right is what is it that we want what, what what is it that we have an interest in and what are those what are the interests of others and if they if they connect and there's a mutual mutual beneficial arrangement there where we can be confident with each other and friends on a certain level of course there's a scale right there's a scale which is like you know friends 2.0 friends 1.0 whatever but there's there's this um there's a scale of course of of what our relationships are but but sisters and brothers are what we inherently are friends are what we decide we are in a way what we how we live our lives whether we deny it or not we're always brothers and sisters but friendship is something we establish and we work on and we grow i think that's the difference so what's the importance of it brothers and sisters well it's just to remind us that we're all connected what affects somebody else affects what affects others affects us as well and what we do affects others so remember that you can remember that connection and it's just i would say distinguished from friendship in a way because friendship is a a chosen uh developed relationship which is a confident relation is a relation of confidence and a relationship of trust whereas brothers and sisters are not necessarily so it was nice chatting again i'm gonna just show you the little brook here and that was what all that roaring noise in the background was it's a little bit of a little bit of a waterfall here and uh this, there's the there's the road up there up there and then a little bit of a log jam up there no i haven't seen any bears no cougars have caught me either so i'm going to walk back up the trail there's the trail <laughs> up to my car and i'll talk to you later